were you sort of uh, listening or going going on like Twitter to seeing what's happening between Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire and Jeremy from the Quartering? Uh, I've I've heard a little little tiny bit bits of things, but I I didn't really know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna need to be oriented with what's actually happening or keep br- brought up to speed. Okay, so uh, this is also from Bounding the Comics. So this happened, I believe, this past week, and. Uh, so this is what the, uh, the the headline says: Matt Walsh triggers Jeremy the quartering Hamley with Christian's teachings about moderation and discipline in regards to video games. And he also said this to anime. I believe, in short, or if I'm paraphrasing or if I'm misphrasing him, I'm sorry for that. But uh, he basically said, like, if you you know if you watch anime and you play video games or something like that, you're basically it's like anime is like satanic. Basically, if you watch anime, you're satanic. And they talk, also talk about you know how how they depict um you know little girls and they could potentially be like pedof- uh you know pedophilic you know like a mm-hmm. li- like you know there's a little girl that looks like a 10 year old but oh I'm, I'm actually a 1000 year old fairy so technically it's fine right yeah yeah so, yeah so uh let's see a daily wire host matt walsh recent sorry a uh, uh, matt walsh recently triggered youtube personality jeremy hamley aka the quartering after he shared uh, pretty basic Christian teachings on moderation and discipline in regards to video games. Uh, Walsh tweeted back in two, uh, March 8th, 2018, video games are a uh, sacred cow because our country is filled with adults who are obsessed with them. That's why we all pretend insanely that there's nothing wrong with our disturbing or disturbing about a child spending all day killing people in a virtual world. So, is, so what? before I continue... What are your take on like what do you think about this? Uh it's nothing new personally. It's that some people are quite outspoken. Especially here. Um, it's more actually it's more prevalent here, in my opinion, that um video games are perceived to be for children or immature, stuff like that. It's like it's it's not uncommon for you to hear that, especially with uh, adults. Uh so yeah, it's I don't know, I, I'm not surprised should I that there's that kind of take. Especially, mm-hmm. um, they're they're probably gonna bring up like the old days, like they're gonna bring up GTA, they're gonna bring up Manhunt games like that. But yeah, they don't really understand what what it means to be uh to us who actually legitimately play a lot of video games and, mm-hmm. and how it actually um yeah how it how it reflects in our day to day life and how it really it yeah they don't understand that there are many aspects in a video game apart from yeah apart what they feel what they perceive it to be. And what they, mm-hmm. um, yeah, because of their, they're so strong in their own beliefs that they give prejudice to video games, which is, yeah, it's very, very common. Even in 2023, it's still mm-hmm. a super, it's, it's still that misconception or that stereotype that uh, people who play games are immature or they can't um, make it in life and stuff like stuff like that. You, it's mm-hmm. not uncommon for you to hear that. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Essentially. Like my aunt and my mom, they're saying they're saying that um video like the actual translation, what my mom would say is like video game is turning your brain into mush. Right? It's basically it's like it's gonna it's it's the video games is messing up your brain, video game is 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 ruining your life, and you shouldn't play it. It's like go outside and you know, or or well, you you should be my mom would be like, Stop playing games, you should be studying, you should be studying. I'm like you know I'm a D student, right? <laughs> you know I'm not. I ain't no A plus Asian, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, if I were to justify it now, it's like, nope. It's like if I if I'm gonna justify it today, it's like, um, my employer doesn't give a crap if I don't memorize the parts of a volcano, <laughs> stuff like that, right? Because <laughs> you trust. It's like elementary, high school. Yeah, it's fine. You get to le- you get to learn a lot of things about life. But the reality is, when you get to college, when you start working, a lot of them don't matter. Mm-hmm. I, I'm sorry, I know that that, make, that can be a hot take, but a lot of them don't matter. So, a lot of them uh, don't. Be, be, before I, I I move forward and and read the article further, um, I I think that it's up to the parents to decide whether or not how much video games they should play. Right? Um, I I I get it where he's coming from. Right. Um. If you're like playing, it, like, like if you're playing a bunch of games that you're just, you know, killing people or something like that, that has no like actual like beneficial value to your life. I understand. Um. But the thing is, um. Some people 
that's some people's way of uh, escaping like what's happening in the world. Like escapism yeah. is very important. Um, you're either going to find it in video games you, or you're going to find it in like anime, manga, um, TV shows or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And I do agree a little bit where he's coming from, right? And Yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is that you can't just you can't just blatantly just like a blanket state like every every gamer is a piece of shit every 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 person that watches the anime is a pedophile like you can't just say that is and that's that's where he loses a lot of the the younger mindset right the the the, the people who are younger you know like people who are you know millennials or gen, you know the zoomers or maybe some people in, in that that's gen xers but it's you you got to be able to know like what like how much video games should your kid play, right? It's a, it's ultimately up to the parents' decision on that. And if the parents are letting their kids play as much games as possible, it's not the game's fault, right? It's the parents' fault. It's sort of like if you're gonna, you know, you know, grab a gun or grab a knife and kill someone, who whose fault is it? Is it the knife's fault? Is it the, the object's fault? Or is the person who's controlling it, the person who's wielding yeah. it, the person who's wielding the controller playing, you know, Call of Duty all day, right? So it's, you you, you got to sort of like know the know the balance between how much your kids are playing, how much not. But but if you don't give your kids the, a lot of time to sort of have this escapism, by the time they do have the option when they're adult, they're going to sink all their time into it if they get exposed to it. Right. Yeah. It's like, oh, it, or, or, you know, you have, like, oh, if I'm not allowed to play games and I'm going to like fucking play a shit ton of games as an adult and then I'm going to be a piece of shit adult. Right. You got to give it to kids in moderation. Yeah. But uh, let's let's go and continue reading this. Yeah. Um, back in Oto uh, October, Walsh also asked in an all access QA session, what's his thoughts on anime work? So here it is. Uh, he answered, I think it's all satanic. I have no argument for why it is satanic. It, it just seems that way to me. All anime to me seems weird. Just bizarre, creepy, and in general, I don't think adults, whether it's anime or any kind of cartoon, uh, with rare exceptions, adults should not be watching cartoons in general, I would say. So I think that's where he also missed the mark, right? It's what anime are you talking about? Are you talking about like Dragon Ball? You know, like that's like that's the OG, you know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Are you talking about like fucking Attack on Titan or like are you talking about La Blue Girl or like Bible Black? Like, what are you talking about? There's such a wide range of spectrum. And mm -hmm. I, I posted this on um on Twitter. It's like there's there's like two communities that you don't attack, right? First of them, first, first of all, like anime is like hard no. You do not attack anime fans. That's a very, very good way for you to lose them as a supporter, right? And that's the reason why I believe um uh uh Jeremy from uh, Geese and Gamers said this is why the left went the left is winning, is because you are basically scrutinizing every like everyone who plays video games, everyone who watches anime, right? I'm pretty sure Attack on Titan doesn't have any of that. Like, it's, it's actually a very like good anime where you, it allows you to think, or or if you have a person that, it, 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 unless you're watching like fucking Bible Black all day and like watching like Gothic hentai and shit, like yeah, that's like don't fucking yeah, watch it. Yeah. It's actually yeah. satanic, right? Yeah. But like, but if but, you know, I'm trying to see where he's coming from. But the anime thing, it's like there are actually really really good animes that has like good values, right? I think um. I think Spy Family is really, really good, right? It has mm -hmm. a moral, a, a, as a moral compass for values of on on how like, you know how hard parenting is, and it's just a feel good anime where it talks about, um, you know, a mother and and a father raising a daughter that's trying to go to a nice school that yep. they happen to have like you know they happen to be spies and superpowers. So I think that's very, it's very like it's a good way to lose your your fan base. What do you think about mm -hmm. the anime stuff? Yeah, it's a it's it's a take that's for the very vi very minority who mm -hmm. what who only watch that kind of anime or who's focused dedicate who's dedicated to watching that kind of anime, which is yeah, it's definitely not good for sure. Kind of like watching mm -hmm. hentai all the time, which is obviously not good. <laughs> there's a it's there's like, a ton yeah. of us. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's a ton of people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm saying, not a ton of us, a ton of people, chat. <laughs> It's, but, like, uh, it's like you're you're um yeah you're generalizing everyone kind of like his take on video games like not all video games are like uh, outright murdering people outright um condoning violence just for the sake of it because yeah I mean you know me I play video games that are so story heavy I stream mm -hmm. games that are really really story heavy that's very deep in story uh but then yeah it's like it's hard to talk to these kinds of people to make them change their ways it's just usually because 
also um uh, pe- a lot of people who don't watch anime or don't play video games tend to have this notion that they're more mature or more intellectual than people who don't uh, yeah. people than people who do play video games or who, and who watch anime it's like they perceive these forms of entertainment to be only for children it's like mm-hmm. that was their upbringing like these are only for kids if you mm-hmm. if you consume these you are not an adult you are you are a man child that yeah. that's what that's that's why there's a lot of people who are like this yeah like um like i I, I knew people who are like, what were you watching anime? Were you a kid? What is this for little, like kids and stuff like that? And it's I I think there it really depends on what the topic of the anime is, what what the topic or genre of the video game is. And it's uh he he I, I think he's just he's very out of touch when it comes down to this, right? Like he 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 doesn't I, I feel like he's probably when he says video games like I don't know, super super Mario, Doom, you know, like a sonic or something he probably yeah. can't name like the pat like like what's the most he probably can't name one one like what's the most popular video game out right now like what's everyone playing he doesn't know what's the most popular like naming like 10 animes that everyone's watching right now he probably doesn't know right it's mm-hmm. because he's so out of touch right it's yeah. because look i like like Jer- like jeremy said from geeks and gamers like yeah matt Walsh is extremely smart i i i love this documentary of of uh, on uh, what is a woman i loved it he's extremely smart he knows what he's doing and he's probably just like, oh, you know, no, uh, ha, ha. I, I believe he talked about how many, con- how many con- people have you con- converted to conservatism or, or converted to re- uh, be- become a Republican? I was like, there's a lot of people in the middle, right? And there's a lot of weebs and people who and gamers in the middle. And if you are trying to convert them over, you got to have some kind of value that they believe in too, right? W- may it be it's a re- religion or whatever, right? But a lot of people just love people and uh, hang around with people that have common like interests like if if gray if i if i never played fire emblem gray would have found me and we wouldn't have started the uh, yeah. started this uh, live stream right so yeah you got to have some find some kind of like common ground but let's say if once it's like oh i i want to convert you into a con- con- uh you know leftism or you know christianity or satanism or whatever you are believing in whatever dogma or stigma that you want to believe in if you if if they come in and all of a sudden that person is really like lo- loves playing League of Legends, loves playing Fortnite, and you're like, oh, I think all video game is trash. It's like, whoa, dude, what the f, right? And if they just met you, and that's a very, very bad message to send to a lot of yep. the new people that could potentially be a part of your, you know, your circle or whatever. Yep. Right. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and read some comments. I know there's a lot that went on. Let's see. It's like, I wonder if he knows how much problem solving is needed in certain games, math, or in some cases, not to mention the team building skills and social skills they gain from interacting with friends. Exactly. I think uh, World of Warcraft, even though I know like it's like you're sitting at home, but I know people who, who've who gotten married. I know people who like that's, oh, I met my boyfriend through playing League. I met my girlfriend or husband playing World of Warcraft. Like they don't know that type of like, okay, it can actually help, you know? And same thing with like, Solve problem solving stuff, right? There are games that actually so, like requires math, right? Fucking Hogwarts Legacy required math, <laughs> right? So it's it's like you you, you get you got to know like okay, well you you got to know um also teach you about physics. If you were playing Super Mario, you know about physics and stuff like that, right? You know how fast, you know it's it's all like algorithmic and it's it's all coded. So let's say if you like if it wasn't for video games, I wouldn't be like oh I want to become a video uh, a video game tester play video games for a living you can actually make a living and now yep. i'm i'm like a lead artist at, at at a gaming studio like it's like the interest as a kid right and the fact that you he is basically um condemning all of this as a whole is just such an out of touch person who's like doesn't know much that, that like it, it's hard for him to, to convert a lot of the normies over to his side yeah see. um yeah, Matt actually helped to get some laws changed in Tennessee to protect children. Some people don't know that he uh, he shined up such a big light in certain places, and is not just always clicks. Yeah, I do agree with a lot of stuff that's happened in Tennessee because um Daily Wires in Dennis in Tennessee, right? So I follow like Brett Cooper, uh, Michael Knows, uh, fucking uh, J- Jeremy Boring, and uh, Ben Shapiro, along with uh, Matt Walsh. I follow all of them, and mm-hmm. I I I believe they they got like some kind of laws turns where like you can't like transition your kid anymore, which is great. You know, you can't you can't transition them when they're when they're young, which is great. And you have a bunch of people who are fighting that. And I'm glad he's doing that. But it's going to be hard for him to have newer faces and younger yeah. people who are in their who who are Gen Zs, right? Who are more like younger that 
that could be like converted to your side or w whatever you want to call it. Let's see. I guarantee Matt Walsh couldn't even name a single anime. Yeah, uh, he just talks out of his butt. Yeah, I, I think once he, if he sits down and he like plays a video game, he's like, oh, this actually has a really good story. Yeah, you know, this, that's actually very good, very good moral. And mm -hmm. speaking of video games that were very good, um, you know, story driven stuff, that's great. Gray loved that kind of shit, right? Like, yeah. you love it, good animes yeah. and, if, and, if, and good stories. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. If you check my, I know there's only four videos, I'm about to make five. <laughs> there's only four videos in my channel, but yeah, I, um, a lot, there's, I particularly like Japanese role playing games. So the latest video I made was for Persona, Persona 3. Yeah, that one had a really, that's, it comp I know you just played Persona 5, Phil, but compared Persona 3 story, it's miles, miles better compared to Persona 5. Because Persona 5, it's so it, it just it's just basically killed the bad guys. Especially mm -hmm. didn't go the royal the royal expansion. Like uh Persona 3 tackles um the meaning of life. So that it's such a really heavy theme. So these are games that people uh these kind of people perceive like, oh, it's immature, it's anime. This, th those are only for kids, but the the messages in that game, it's like the, it's like it's it applies so much in real life, which the, mm -hmm. these people don't get to experience because of how close minded and how superior they think they are. Yeah, let's see. Um, it's from Alan. He's like, you'd be surprised how many kids want to go out into the woods and learn survival and 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 good off. Uh, and let's see, but their parents don't introduce it to them. Yeah, I think a lot of people who are in the big cities, like, um, you know, people who are in like LA, New York, Sacramento, San Francisco, like, like San Diego, all the big metropolitan cities, a lot of them don't want to get out and explore. Right. And I think if you find a happy medium in between, you're like, Oh, you can, I want to teach you how to shoot a gun. So you, so you know what to do when, you know, you, what, you know, if you find a gun, you pick up a gun or something like that, or you, you know, if it's a gun at home, you know what to do, what not to do. So teaching them, uh, teaching them at, at a young age on how to like survive, how to, how, how to, you know, chop wood, you know, start a fire or something like that, even something like that. And then, and maybe when they go back home, you know, for, to, to reward them, here are some video games, you know, you play a little bit of video game. And of course the parents have to vet the video game. You're not sitting there letting him play fucking Senran Kagura where you're like massaging the girl's asshole, right? Exactly. You're not doing that. You want to make, exactly. make sure they play like games that are actually yeah. has values, has a good story. Yeah. Right. It, even like, the Walking Dead. The first. Have you played Walking Dead, the Telltale game, the first one? I played like the first one, like right, right? I I like, mean, like thirty minutes though. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I think you'd, you'd like playing that game, especially now, because like it's the premise is your uh, elementary teacher, I believe. Then you're okay. you're in charge of taking care of a little girl called Clementine. So part of that's like teaching her how to survive, cut her hair so she, the zombies don't grab her, teaching her how to, how to use a gun. I think you you like the game now now more than ever since you have yeah. uh, you have a kid now. Yeah, Shonen Sanin Hentai. Now he knows the difference. So Shonen is Shonen Jump, which is the the the, the manga company. That Sanin, the only Sanin that I know is from like Naruto, and then Hentai. That's probably like that's that that's like yeah. that that, that yeah. that's the I, I, stuff. I, yeah. <laughs> I I just I can see Persona Five comments in chat, but if you guys have not tried Persona Three yet, I strongly strongly recommend you do. It's, yeah. I, I I made I made a thirty minute video out of it, and people were saying, "Yeah, it it's probably the yeah the best video I have made." But I really I really appreciated the central theme of that game. So you're missing out if you didn't play Persona Three. Yeah, just yeah. wanted to get it out there. Let's see. Uh, Walsh would later uh, later make it clear he was making an off the cuff joke about anime whilst sati uh, uh, satirizing media matters, and the other outlets who ran his remarks as serious. He noted. These are all the things that you might say if you believe that I was not being totally serious when I declared all animation made in Japan satanic. But again, I am serious. If I'm, I was joking, I would laugh. Deadpan humor was never has never been my thing. You know, you know, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. So, um, I think, uh, I think overall, uh, it's it, it's definitely. I understand where he's coming from, but it's 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 definitely it's, it seems like he's definitely out of touch, right? Yeah, I, I I think he should have he could have phrased it more. Like I think he's targeting those younger audiences who are too addicted to playing video games. Mm -hmm. That's how he should have framed it, not in a way that target he, the way he said it, it's because he targeted everyone in the, who consumes it. That's why.
I mean, if he if he said like, go outside from time to time, it's good for your health. That would have been fine. But because he, mm-hmm. the way he said it, it's he targeted literally everyone, like even you and me. He could, he's, yeah, he's saying that <laughs> stupid gamers. Let's yeah. see, let's see what the, what Jeremy said. The right's weird obsession with disavowing video games, anime, and social media is why they will never appeal to most of Gen Z. The base is literally dying off, and most of their voices in the community are actively refusing recruits. Matt's not the only guy saying it. There was some other moron who tweeted anime is for pedophiles or something like that the other day. Um, I do agree with what court, uh, Jeremy from the quartering is saying. Uh, I believe that he it's it's like, yeah, you can disavow like, you know, like hentai games or like um, or like stuff that's like extremely violent for no reason and has no story, has nothing. You're just going around like just doing random shit. It's um, it's. Oh man, it's it's such a like the, the thing is I like the guy, but this is something I I and that's the thing we don't agree like like for me like people will probably like if the left probably heard when I was talking about they're like oh this guy's a fucking you know fucking KKK member or some shit like that right it's because of like what what I say, but the thing is that like I don't agree with everything like the right says I don't think I don't agree with everything like fucking uh you know Ben Shapiro says or anything like that, but this is something like I'm like no you're you're attacking the wrong group, right yeah you're. Mm-hmm. It's uh, I don't think he's uh, I I don't think there there is a lot of things where he he will ever budge on like since since he's all like value his own values are so like cemented where he's like I'm not gonna change my mind, mm-hmm. right? You're not gonna be able to change my mind. Anime is for pedophiles and video games are for degenerates and you know it's you shouldn't play it you shouldn't do anything you should go outside and 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 mow the lawn, <laughs> right? Yep. But uh, yeah, it's um, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, he's uh he's polarizing the wrong issue. Yeah, it's 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 the parents, right? If okay, the fact that I'm a parent now, I'm apparently a parent. Um, I'm not gonna let my son play video games all the fucking time. You know, it's like, okay, did you finish your homework? Yeah, did you eat all your food? Yeah. All right. Do you have anything else you need to do? No. All right, cool. You can play you you can you can play games until like 10 o'clock. You know, like that's his reward. And you gotta be able to show like w- how much you 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 have to say to your kids where things oh I'm, I'm just gonna ban all of this shit it's because i don't want you to do it and then your kid goes to school right your kid goes to school and all his friends are playing video games all his friends are watching animes oh do you see the most recent episode of dragons you know dra- dra- dragon maid or so, wh- whatever and it's just like no what is that oh it's anime it's so cool and then he's gonna get left out he's gonna come home yeah. and he's yeah, like that, dad the- you know yeah go ahead yeah i, I, I was yeah i, I- that's super super common here in the Philippines. Like, uh, I he- back when I was a kid, I hear parents take pride that they never they never allow their kids have to have any form that kind of enjoy that kind of entertainment, like playing video games or watching. And they brag about how um they're like first honors in their grades and everything. It's like looking back at it now, it's like I'm kind of grateful that my parents aren't that way. It's like even though I have failing grades, <laughs> all they wanted for me was to pass, <laughs> but I still have failing grades. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you, you missed out on so much. Like at the end of the just for just so you can get an, a high grade, it's it's not worth it, man. It's like the first honor thing. It's like I mean, the social status really mean that much to you that you're you're gonna make your child miss out on so many other things in life. You yeah, see, that, that's that's it's, how I feel. Like um, like I understand where like my mom. Was like, oh, um, she wants us to go to a good school, right? She wants us to go to a good school, you know, get a good job and all that stuff. So, like, make sure we don't play that much games, you know. Or, but the thing is that there's, there has been times where she's like, she doesn't want us to play games at all. It's like, do not play any games, right? Do how dare you? Do, do do not play any games. If you come home, I see you playing game, I will destroy you, right? Like, it's funny is because my my cousin, um, his name is uh, his name is Tony. Him and his sister. We're playing Mario 64 for such a long time that they did not do the dishes. They did not eat. They did not do anything. All they did was play Mario 64. The dad came in to my uncle, came into the room without saying anything, holding a hammer. Oh. And he goes, bitch, no more video games. They fucking destroyed that shit in front of them. They fucking like cried. They fucking cried so hard. But the thing is that did they get into a good school? Did they get good jobs? Yes, they did. So, like, it did work, right? Yeah. That fucking, like, PTSD is like, oh, I should, don't play video games anymore. My dad's going to come with a hammer and destroy my shit. 
So um, it's it's like so my mom was like telling me, he's like, oh, don't you know, you're influenced to your younger brother. Do not play video games all the time around him. Right. And then now he's like and, and the fact that like oh, I was like, oh, just video games, video games. And then like my younger brother, who's like nine years younger than me, he's like looks up to me and, and, and my other brother, who's a year younger than me. And then it's like he always wants to play Smash Brothers. He always wants to play Mario Kart. Right. But the thing is, he's very smart. And, and, and like he, he went to UNLV. And like uh, you know, he he he's going into golf and stuff like that. But like, if I I want to see like if my brother and, and and myself like didn't like play that much video games around him, would he have gotten to a better place, right? W w would he have been like, oh maybe maybe he would have been like fucking rocket scientist or some shit, right? But I don't know. But it's 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 not like he's a terrible person. I'm not a terrible. I play yeah. games all the fucking time, right? I'm, yeah, my, 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 first thing, first first and foremost, my dad didn't give a shit how much games I played. He's like, hey, hey, Felix, you you not failing in school, right? I'm like, no, I have a D. Okay, D still pass. Okay, don't fail. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that's, I, that, I, that's the thing for me. Don't fail school, I was good. The the, the thing is, when I was in great, late great elementary and late high, in high school, in, in my entire mm. high school life, I even just passing, I couldn't even do that. <laughs> I couldn't. It's like in high school, in what in high school, it's like every quarter I had a failing grade. It's like uh quarter first quarter I failed math. Second mm -hmm. quarter, I failed science. Third quarter, I failed social, social studies. Fourth quarter, I failed Filipino. Just that it, when you average them in the four quarters, it ends up being passing. That's why I never took mm -hmm. summer class. <laughs> but wait, even wait, wait. then, but... I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm sorry. You failed math? Yeah. What kind of Asian are you? <laughs> yeah. Fake. <laughs> I'm not a real Asian. <laughs> Fake Asian. But uh, don't worry about it. I, I, I failed math too. But, for, but I had a good reason. I had a good reason why I failed math. Okay. Because in high school I had a girlfriend, so I didn't give a shit about my classes. All right, but once my uh, once my girlfriend went off to during that time went off to college, I actually like, aced all my classes. It's because that's when I actually started focusing. But when she was in school with me, like I didn't focus at on school at all because I was like, oh man, everyone has a girlfriend. I need to get a girlfriend too, man. Like I don't want to look like a piece of shit, <laughs> right? Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.